Hi, this is Kathy Brox of LUTG Radio, Chicago, Illinois. This is an example of a 15-second commercial. Contact us at lutgradio at gmail.com. Advertise with us today. We want your business. Contact us today. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brox. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're up to the next segment, y'all, the birthdays. Amen. And uh, um, my peace. And we also have a announcement. Amen. <laughs> we'll have the public announcement coming up for you in just a bit. We have, um, we have music for you and definitely opportunity for salvation at the end of each segment. And uh, I definitely want you guys to keep on praying about uh, the uh, train to drop in the track over in Chicago at the O'Hare Airport. Amen. I, I mean, that's some serious stuff. It's kind of banana how it happened. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. What you going to do about it? Nothing. Nothing. Can't do nothing about it. Sure can. Sure can. Do nothing but pray. Amen. Not maybe not get on the train no more. <laughs> oh man. Oh my goodness. No, it's all good. Oh, praise the Lord. Have you have you you guys uh you guys know how uh, men always say you get women for they're happy and joyful for three weeks out of the month and then you gotta pay the bill. Well, here's another take on paying that bill. Women, you are cool for three weeks out of the month. You cool. And then all of a sudden, you know, you go from being able to make a cute little sneeze <coughs> until, you know, you go to, if you sneeze like, <coughs> it's all like a, <coughs> you just got some strawberry toppings. <laughs> you just like, And for three weeks out of the month, you chill. No matter what anybody say to you, you chill. Somebody even brush you wrong. You're like, what the? Ooh, can't you watch where you going? Stop stepping on my feet. Don't brush me too hard. <laughs> You're like, don't touch me. Just don't touch me. And you're trying to keep your Christian demeanor. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, Jesus loves you. But during that week, you're like, you but don't even, look, don't even come my way. I see you coming. Don't even come my way. I don't want to hear nothing about what you got to say today. I am not feeling well. Oh, my goodness. All right? <laughs> and for some of y'all, you think, uh, some of you guys are uh, on birth control, or maybe you eat close to that time of uh, menopause, you're like, you, you miss a month, and you, you think, well, I ain't doing that, so I ain't pregnant. And you miss another month, and you think, cool, this chick is gone, all right. And then all of a sudden, in the middle of your fun, here she comes. you like, oh, man, I was enjoying this. I know it wasn't the time, but you know, my brain kind of tricked the rest of my body for a second. And I was just straight chilling. And here she gum. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> 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 
strawberry toppings. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Hallelujah. All right, y'all. <laughs> we got some music for you right here. Here's Alexa um, Wilkinson. And after this, uh, after a couple songs, we'll give you the public announcement. Amen. Amen. Glory to God.
Hi, this is Kathy Brox of LUTG Radio, Chicago, Illinois. This is an example of a 15-second commercial. Contact us at lutgradio at gmail.com. Advertise with us today. We want your business. Contact us today. All righty, all righty. We got the uh, public announcement coming up right after this. The local weather for Chicago is a high of 35. Feels like it'll feel like 19 degrees. Uh, mostly, mostly cloudy and some rain today. And uh, if you are anywhere along the East Coast, Washington is finally super sunny, but it's cold. The good thing is, well, it's 30 degrees, but it will feel like 30. 35 really wow and then <laughs> they get an extra five degrees of warmth I'm just like so jealous and then <laughs> in uh, along New York it's sunny but it's cold uh, 22 degrees and it'll feel like 21 so we're about right all right you can check the weather for your area your country if you go to lutgradio.com this weather is uh, courtesy of AccuWeather.com. Amen. Go to AccuWeather.com for your weather needs. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And remember, you can advertise on LUTG Radio. It is not free, but we have great rates. You can also do your campaigns, your uh, branding campaigns on LUTG Radio. Whether it is for music, whether it's for a product, services, LUTGRadio.com. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hit me up with the contact page and tell me what you want to do. We'll get that done. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> I love y'all so much. I get up every morning excited to do this show. Amen. I really do. I really do. Amen. Miss Bushwhack coming up right after this commercial. LA Workout Apparel. Look good while you sweat yourself to help. Many great looks for a beautiful you. Sweat in style and LA Apparel at LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Sweat in style at LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Get your LA Apparel now. Now, my name is Miss Bushwhack, and uh, I'm one of those around the way girls, you know, from the 90s. Hey, Will. But you know, now I'm saved. What you want is what I got. Give them praise. You know, I was on a choir back in my day, you know. I was a cute little thing. And uh, I'm just saying, I ain't trying to toot my own horn, but ooh What you want is what I got. Give them praise. See, I deliberately chose the third floor in my apartment building, even though I own the whole thing. You know, I miss bushwhack. I don't mess around. Sister got to get them ends. See, I chose the third floor because I figured if any man was truly interested in me, I'm worth at least three flights of stairs. I'm just saying. My name is Miss Bushwhack. I ain't whack for a reason. For no reason at all. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, but I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm saved. So what I was trying to say is, um, I miss Bushwhack, and truly I am saved. I was just messing around, you know. I could say that it was Satan all up in my head and things, but, uh, oh, wait, hold on. Sorry. Uh, the runaway girl came out for a second there. Well, what I'm saying is that I am... Um, I'm saved. I'm not new to this Christian thing, and I just have a few things I want to educate you young ladies on. You know what I mean? Now, I ain't going to tell you how to date your men. That's your business. I know how we do. We don't want nobody all up in our business. I sure ain't going to do that. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. And I ain't going to tell you about the little nappy edges that you got going on. Girl, what's up with that? I'm just saying. Your name starts with a T. Um, and uh, the rest of y'all, I'm not going to, I ain't saying it. But I do have a question. Um, Miss W, how come you always eyeing the ushers? Don't you got a husband? Girl, you know you go to hell for stuff like that. I'm just saying, my name is Miss Bushwhack and I don't take none of that. Well, anyway, I found somebody who said that I was worth the three flights of stairs. Yeah, look at him. Uh-huh. 
We've been together 30 years. Oh, goodness. Yeah. And don't you know, uh, he had his own house when he met me. Hello. And he has several more right now. I'm just saying. We ain't hurting a bit, no, girl. So what I'm really saying to you is, ladies, get this. Have your own before you go trying to get you a man, trying to bring him up in some apartment, thinking, look, I pay my own bills. I got my own apartment. But you don't own it. So you really ain't got nothing. Your landlord got it. So I'm telling you, ladies, become a landlord. That's all I'm saying. And take the apartment on the third floor. See, if you are worth the walk, they will take the walk up all them flights of stairs all the way up to the third floor. That's all I'm saying. This is Miss Bushwhack, and this is my public announcement. <laughs>
money, you don't return my calls. I could use a friend right now when you're not there at all. Y'all, we got the birthdays coming up in just a few minutes. Praise the Lord. It's day your birthday. Shout it out. Put it on chat. You can call me at 773-598-8900. Amen, amen. We'll let you give you a, give a shout out to your boo or your special someone on air live. 773-598-8900. Amen, amen, amen. And uh, what's up to all the ministers out there that are listening? Hey, all right now. What's up, Privet? Barber shop over there in North Carolina. How y'all doing? They do some good haircuts, y'all. Y'all should check that out. Here's Mama Needs a Night Out. She was up four times in the night with baby. Can't think clearly to save her life. Laundry piling up is downright dreary And the older one's begging for a pony ride There's only one thing to do if she wants to stay sane She calls up her girlfriends all with babies on the brain Get your kids to bed, put your skin in jeans on Bust me out of here cause I'm so far gone Mom's gone wild, oh, mama needs a girl's night out She closes her eyes The older one's crying Cause she dropped her french fries Get out the high heels and perfume Buckle up, girlfriend Gonna have the move Mom's gone wild Mama needs a girl's night out Mom's gone wild Or no, she loves her child
LUTG Radio, Chicago, Illinois. This is an example of a 15-second commercial. Contact us at LUTGRadio at gmail.com. Advertise with us today. We want your business. Contact us today. All righty. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's another time for the birthdays. If today is your birthday, then definitely happiest of birthdays to you. Jesus absolutely loves you, beloved, and only wants the best for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we just, <laughs> I just got tongue tied. We just want to say happy birthday to Miss Roni. Amen, amen, amen. Here's some special people that have a birthday along with you. Miss Mariah Carey. Do I need to say anything more? We done. We done. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Stacy Fergie Ferguson. I love me some Fergie and Mariah. Oh my goodness. Amen. We got uh, Polly Perrette. That is a female. Amen. And Jesse J and Vicky Gunvalson. So it's the girls' day. Brenda Song. Amen. 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 All right, I'm gonna squeeze Nathan Falioni now because I love Castle. So what's up? Amen. Amen. Holla at your girl. Seven seven three five nine eight eight nine hundred. That's Skype. Amen. You can also do L U T G Radio on Skype. Praise the Lord. If today is your birthday, get yourself a designated driver. If you just, if your decision is to go out drinking. And we got my piece coming up in just a few seconds. Well, maybe a few minutes. It's your birthday and you matter. You matter. You bring tons of joy to all the people that you love. Your words and thoughts and feelings matter. You matter. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, it's your birthday day today. Since it's your birthday, you already know, you were born on this day many moons ago. So we want to take some time to appreciate somebody who we all agree is great. Yeah, we're talking about you, you and no, we didn't forget the cake for a friend who we're glad we've met. Now since we all got together, let's sound the horn and celebrate that day that you were born. It's your birthday. And since we're all here, we want to say happy birthday and all say cheers on your birthday. And since you're right here, we want to say happy birthday. Have another great year. It's your birthday. On your birthday. On your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Yeah. You gotta have a good birthday. Right? Let's make that happen. Wear that funny hat. Get the kazoos out. Cut the cake. Let's do this. Alrighty. Praise the Lord. That's right. Let's do this. Amen. 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 So we are looking at my peace. A amen. Amen. And you <laughs> have you ever talked to somebody and uh they you you just trying to help. You know, you, you're just trying to go about helping, and all of a sudden, they flip out on you, and you're like, cool, all right, let me try and keep my composure. But the more and more you try and keep your composure, they just get, like, really just blown out. It's kind of like Mr. Bombastic, Mr. Fantastic. They think... <laughs> They think everything about themselves and the people that uh, they are around is the absolute everything, like the apex. And you're like, well, wait a minute, if you're the apex, then, you know, why isn't this this way? Why isn't that that way? You know what I'm saying? And, okay, let me just stop. I'm, just, I'm pussyfooting around. Look, yesterday I was on the phone with somebody. I was trying to help somebody else out. I got a, I got a little text message saying, hey. You know, I'm doing X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. And the usual thing is, can you 
uh, can you do this uh, show for me or can you write something up for me? So, you know, I ain't got a problem with it. I'll do it. I love to help people out. So, I do need money, though. But anyway, I go about trying to do this free thing. And uh, I get, uh, I didn't, I went to go double check some information. And I called them up and they didn't answer. So, I'm like, okay, well, fine. I'll just go with what I got. So, then a few minutes later, somebody calls me back from that organization. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So, they're like, oh, well, you call. We're just calling you back, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay. Well, I was calling about, you know, uh, so-and-so because I wanted to write a little story about them and this and that. I, you know, just helping them out. And the young lady, which I assume must have been his girlfriend, because if she had a position, and she said she had a high position in an organization, if she had a position in the organization, then she took off that position's hat because... This is what she sounded like. <laughs> That's what she sounded like. <laughs> I was like, oh, what the freak? And I got to think to myself, is this real? Am I being punk? Is this real? Because she was just going off. Well, if you know him, you'd have his phone number. Do you want his phone number? Well, why are you calling him? What are you trying to say? What's this? What's that? What's this? What's that? I'm like, oh, ew, yuck. That's what's going on in my head. Ugh, how can I get her off my phone? <laughs> she was just flipping out. And I'm thinking maybe she ain't had enough sleep. You know, and I'm just being as calm as I possibly can. So, ladies and gentlemen. When people call up your organization, we don't know who you screwing. We don't know who you love. We're just following a story. Or we're just trying to help someone out. So don't go off on us. You're like, oh, well, sometimes people, girlfriends, be calling up here and he messing around or she messing around, blase, blase, whatever. When you're talking to the public or especially to the media, you want to have on your best demeanor. Have on your good girl clothes and your grown lady hat or your grown man hat because don't nobody know nothing about all that other stuff you're talking about. You know what I mean? We're just like, wow, I don't even want to go to the show. Is this the atmosphere? I don't want to be bothered. So I'm just saying, put on your big boy pants, act like an adult, and stop screaming at the people that call to try and help you out. Amen. That's my piece. Here is Stronghold. Walk on.
God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved if if you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior but want to repeat this prayer confession after me Lord Jesus I ask you to forgive me of all my sins I confess my sins before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead. 
that I am saved and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place. And from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment, Jesus. I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus. Amen. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus with evidence of speaking in tongues for the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus by the will of Jehovah God. Amen. Congratulations. Go to lutgradionetwork.com. Click on the link, find a church. Get baptized with water. Take your foundation class and your prayer intercessory class. Tell them you got saved on Barack F. Hey Amen. Tell them you got saved on LUTG Radio. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Remember, read your Bible every day. Start off with the book of John. And for you folks that have already been in Jesus for a long time, amen, don't forget to read your Bible too. Sometimes we forget. You're like, yeah, I know Jesus. I'm cool. I pray every morning. Yeah, but you still need to read your Bible every day. Just take a few minutes. All right, boom, 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 boom. Let me knock this out. Let me see do I understand this. If I can repeat this back, not just repeat it back, but, you know, give it some understanding. You know, don't just repeat the same words back to yourself. Repeat it to say it aloud as if you're giving a speech or as if you're teaching somebody else. So if you can convey what you just read, then you understand what you have just read, and you can be a blessing with that knowledge to someone else. So it's important that you read your Bible every day. Amen. You don't have to be a teacher. I love to teach. I love to speak. I love to read. You ain't got to be like me. You can be just like you, just like Jesus. And say, Lord, when you don't understand some Holy Ghost, open this up for me. Help me to understand it. I don't get it. Help me, God. I want to know what you know. <laughs> you ain't got to do it that way, but... <laughs> All right, get your butt to church. Uh, don't forget, Living Word got a conference going on up until the 28th. Every night there's something different. Amen. No, they ain't paying me for it, but they ought to. Uh, anyway, <laughs> just check them out. Living W.